hi guys welcome to this video um a lot of you guys are new to our channel um thank you so much for subscribing and you're confused about our horses um specifically stella um a lot of you guys have been saying what the heck your horse is lame stop riding her and some of you guys have expressed interest in what exactly is stella's diagnosis what is wrong with her and what are we doing to help her if you fall into that category then this video is for you The girls are here grooming the horses while I make this video. So if you hear anything, that's what you probably are hearing. Um, so basically we bought Stella in July, three months ago. Um, we bought her, um, we traveled really far. We bought her in Quebec and um, we had been looking for a horse for a really long time. Our main priority was getting a horse that was child safe um, and that could teach Sophia. Um, all the horses that we'd met up until we met Stella were just really not a good fit. We're, uh, we were getting really frustrated. It was a really hard thing. Looking for a horse is a really, really hard um, journey to go through. If you guys have bought a horse, then you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, we finally met Stella and um, she was amazing we could um she had some issues the minute that we saw her our trainer noticed that her feet were cut um her her hooves were trimmed so drastically that she was so sore on her feet she was tiptoeing practically and um the the person that we bought her from said that he had got the farrier to come two days before we got there and he just chopped off her feet and um Likely she hadn't seen a farrier all winter, and yeah, it was obvious that she had that issue. Our trainer did take pictures and video of Stella going, send them to our farrier, and our farrier assured her that based on what he could see, that she would probably be fine with some corrective shoeing and um, just some time. And that did turn out to be, oops, and that did turn out to be exactly true. In the end, the reason we decided to buy Stella was because of her personality. She just was so sweet, when Sophia got on her, she changed how she was riding to try and keep Sophia safe and to make sure that she was taken care of and that was a big thing for me. And we took a huge leap of faith buying Stella and we were so pleasantly surprised that when she came off the trailer into our barn, um, she was just an amazing horse. She just was amazing and for three months she has just been amazing. Like she just, she she has never been scared she's never been she never had any issues she just she, except for her feet um we did end up taking her on a camping trip on a nature hit on a hike on a trail ride that turned out to be a little bit more than what we were expecting and when we got home we felt like she was a lot more sore than when we went actually a lot of you guys pointed out like she's really sore you need to get the vet there so we did call the vet he did come and he did x-rays of Stella. There are videos of that um, on our channel. And it, it turns out that she has a hawk that um, is fusing in the process of fusing. And for any of you guys who know what that's like, you know that until the hawk fuses, she is gonna have pain. But to make matters worse, um, our vet fails our vet feels like there's a chance that she has foundered in the past. Um, there's no damage to her hooves from foundering and the farrier and the vet could not see def definitive signs that she has foundered, but just the way her hooves have grown and the fact that they were probably left all winter and they kind of had a funny shape to them when we first got her, they feel like the chance that she has foundered in the past is, is probable. And so because of that, um, we, have to make sure she doesn't get any grass. Another big issue is her weight. She was severely obese when we got her. She was standing in a field of grass this high and she was just eating her way to heaven. Um, because she was severely obese, it means that um, her treatment options are very um, limited. She can't have uh, some injections that would really benefit her because um, the, the side effects are laminitis and so 
our job is to get her weight down. Prior to moving to this barn, uh, we were doing fairly well, but now that she's out on the grass, even though the grass is minimal in the field, it's enough that it's making her gain weight again and it's affecting her behavior drastically. And a lot of our hard work has gone to waste because she's she clearly looks like she's getting a bit of a belly again. Even Storm is getting a belly out there. So um, we are back to the drawing board to get her back in shape so that her treatment options can um, increase. She did have uh, um, an injection in her hawk already. Hi guys, sorry about um, the video cutting off there. I did get distracted last night when I was trying to shoot this video. Um, and I just wanted to finish off by saying that she has had an injection. Um, we, our jobs are to ride her five days a week. She needs to be ridden um, to get the weight down. She looks a lot better right now, but she still has a lot of weight down to increase the options for her treatment. Um, we need to get the weight down, ride her five days a week, ride her until she's sweaty. Um, she is on pain medication as well for um, any pain that she is having and uh, um, so that we are able to ride her to get her weight down and eventually we are going to be able to have more options to treat her um, a different type of injection and eventually her hawk is going to fuse and when that hawk fuses she won't have pain anymore um, so that is our ultimate goal we love Stella we want to help her feel as good as she can feel and that is what we're doing so um, I hope that answers any of your guys's questions uh, if you have any more questions I'll leave them in the comments below because I'm sure I have missed some information um anyway thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below